Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create on WordPress Choropleth maps. Sometimes they're called EAT maps, but the correct designation will be Choropleth maps. They're visual representations of data on a geographic map. So like this, like we're seeing on screen, uh, I have the US map divided by states and we have the information about the population and there's different shades of blue. Here I created a map of France and I just added some random values so just to serve it as an, as an example. So this is done using a plugin called Interactive Geomaps. I'm the lead developer. Uh, if you're not using it yet, I'm going to leave the link on the comments below so you can get it. Once you start using it, you're going to have a menu maps here. And um, I'm going to go ahead now and create a new map. Let's create a Choropleth map together. I'm going to use the Australia map here. Australia, there we go. I'm going to use it because there's not so many regions and it's going to be faster. Okay. Um, also, I selected the map first. Now I'm going to come here to regions and I'm going to populate the map with the regions. Uh, in, this, in this video, I'm going to just show you uh, an overview of the feature. I'm not going to go into much details. There's several ways for you to create a heat map. You can get the data from an external source, um, a Google spreadsheet or a JSON file. But in this video, I'm going to add the, the data manually so you have a, a quick overview of, the, of this feature and what the plugin can offer. So I'm going to... The plugin allows us to click here to add regions, but I'm gonna also I'm gonna click here instead. It's a bit faster. I'm adding them one by one, and you see the the, the preview is updating, and we also now have the each of the regions here. And to have the Choropleth map, what we need is a number associated with each region. So we can add it here. The value of, in the value field, I'm going to add some random numbers. Okay, so now we have a number on each of the regions. Okay, so far nothing changed, still the map is green. So on the regions, down here, the plugin has a lot of features and the feature we're looking for now is here, the Choropleth heat map feature, let's enable it. There are two types that we can choose from, the gradient and the custom ranges. For this video I'm going to talk only about the gradient, you can explore the custom ranges um, if you need it. Okay, the gradient, you just choose the minimum color, the maximum color, and the plugin will, out, will automatically calculate the colors for each region based on this. So I'm going to use shades of red instead. Okay, so the minimum color and the maximum color. And I'm going to enable the legend also. Uh, let's leave it like this for now, and the source field ID, let's leave the default for now. That's uh, for the purpose of this demo, that's how we should leave it. Okay, let's come back up to the preview, let's see what it... Okay, here we go. We already have the, each uh, region of the Australia map with a different shade of red, depending on the value that we added. So let's improve this map a little bit. So we have this green over, it doesn't really fit. The red, we can change it here in default values and let's with red also. Okay, now it's a little bit better. And uh, maybe we also want to display the number on the tooltip so we know what these colors represent. And to do that we go to the tooltip options tab and we can do that on the content template field. This is basically, uh, we can use placeholders here, we can use HTML, so I'm going to leave the default tooltip content, I'm going to do a line break, I'm going to say value, and then I'm going to put the placeholder of value. Let's see. Okay. 
So basically that's it. Um, we just saw how you can manually create a heat map. Um, the key thing to do is to add a value here and enable the heat map feature. Uh, this is just a basic way of doing it. I don't think if you're building a world map, you're not going to be adding um, one by one. You're probably going to be using an external source. The plugin is able to do that. Uh, there's an option here to uh, add other data sources. And um, you can explore this. I'm going to do other videos to to explain how you, you can use this uh, this feature but basically it will allow you for example to have a JSON file like this hosted it somewhere else and the plugin is able to come and read this JSON file and get this data and uh, create uh, the heat map automatically from, from this data uh, but uh, I'm gonna explore that on another video on this I just wanted to give you a quick overview I hope it was helpful if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below or contact me through the links that I will also leave in the description. Thank you so much.